Hey guys, Soul Closet here, back making another video. And uh, today, I'm going to explain why I don't use my Oculus Rift as much as I feel like I should, and uh, why I still think it was a good purchase regardless. Um, like, I, I guess I just summarized my thoughts in that one sentence, so why watch the goddamn video? But, you know, stick around. Um, I'm just going to kind of off-top... Um, off the top talk about how I feel about having bought the Oculus Rift and Touch bundle for about $400 and uh, about my usage of it in the last month or so since I got it. So about a month ago, I saw that on Newegg.com they had the Rift and Touch bundle for about $400 with free shipping and I decided to go for it. So I paid for it and it showed up a couple days later and I was really excited. And uh, it came with these guys. These are the touch controllers. That's why I've got them here. Just because I don't really have anything to show you. Um, I don't really want to film any more footage. Because uh, it's late and uh, I don't want to. So I have the controllers here. And they're nice. These are like really nice controllers. That's not what this video is about really at all. But they are really nice. Um, but instead of doing like a review of the Oculus Rift or whatever. I decided that I would just talk about again why I don't really use it anymore. Um, basically, I think that the, the, the big flaw with the Oculus Rift and the Vive and other room scale or semi room scale VR systems, um, I, and that flaw, in my opinion, is that they command a certain energy. Um, PC gaming is pretty chill. Whether you're playing a competitive game or not, you just open Steam, Origin, or a link on your desktop or whatever, and you just open the game. And it's pretty easy. You, you know, if you need a controller, you plug in a controller. If you use your mouse and keyboard, you position them right, and you sit up, and you play a game. And then when you're done, you just close it, and then you're back to normal. Maybe you put a controller away, that's it. VR... You have to plug a headset into your computer. You have to make sure the sensors are positioned correctly. You have to grab the controllers and press buttons to pair those. You have to get your hair right so you can put the headset on your head. And you have to clear a standing space in your room where your computer is so that you can actually play the games. And that's a lot of work. For me, that means folding up a tray, moving two large office chairs, um, moving my trash can, getting behind my computer to plug in the headset, and uh, usually, because I've only, I've been bumping the sensors accidentally, doing the entire sensor setup before I can actually play. And in practice, all I ever get out of it is maybe an hour before my eyes hurt of, um, you know, kind of sweaty, energy, you know, energy-sucking, exhausting gameplay. Um, and it's fun. I've been playing VR Osu a little. It's fun. I've been playing, I played a lot of Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. That's a great game. But the problem is, is that VR games are not more compelling than regular games enough to sell the setup and usage of VR along with them. Um, VR Minecraft, again, really cool. But if I really gave a shit, I would play normal Minecraft. The problem for me uniquely is that my wrists are really awful. They, I get really bad RSI all the time. And so I can't really play normal games that much. And as a result, I've really kind of gotten used to not playing games all that much. And what that means is that I don't really feel too compelled to play VR games because there's all that setup. And then what do I gain from it? I gain being able to play a game. Well, I've kind of gotten myself to a point where I don't need to play games to enjoy my time. And so it's like the ultimate unnecessary thing of unnecessary things, I guess. It's playing PC games with more work for less time with potential eye strain when I didn't even really care about playing the games in the first place. And maybe I'm not the target audience, but I have a good computer, so I like to think that I am in the target audience, um, because you need that. 
you know, you already need to be somewhat of a computer enthusiast to actually play VR because you need to have a good computer and you need to be willing to set it up and get it to work. And so as someone who loves technology in the modern age, I, I, I can't help but feel a little bit cheated, I guess, by the fact that for $400, this is kind of what I get. You know, that could have been a PlayStation 4 that I wouldn't have used. This could have been an Xbox One that I wouldn't have used. You get my point. It's not like I would have spent the money much better anyway. But potentially I could have gotten more out of something different that had a lower physical necessary barrier to entry for every usage scenario. And again, it's just not compelling enough to keep me coming back. And I love VR, and I'm going to keep using it. And after I film this video, I'm probably going to put all my lighting stuff back into normal and move my chairs and my tray and probably play something. But does that justify the cost? Does that, do does that justify the setup? Not really. By making this video, I'm basically forcing myself to use it. And if you have to force yourself to use something that's expensive, why'd you buy it in the first place, you know? <sighs> I guess that's really all I wanted to say. Um, this isn't a recommendation for or a slam against VR and the Oculus Rift platform in general. Um, I do think that the that the Rift is a better buy than the Vive at this point, um, if you already have a good computer. And um, I do think that there's a lot of value to be had out of it, but it's just not, it's not enough to make me want to play games again. And that's kind of what I was looking for when I bought it. I was looking for a fresh new thing to want, make me want to enjoy gaming again without pain and discomfort and boredom. And it didn't deliver. And that's my fault, sure. Which is, again, why I'm not phrasing this as a review of the Rift. But... I guess I just wanted to have this opinion heard in case anyone else feels similarly about games in general because I feel like it's somewhat underrepresented. So with that, thank you for listening, and I will uh, see you guys next time. So close it out. Bye.